We must drive at a near constant speed, smoothly, without lag or fear, and by maintaining adequate safety distance and even when the street is crowded or stopping on the traffic light, we must maintain a sufficient safety distance so that we can see the rear tires of the car in front of us, and if it's a large car, we must see the entire body of the car from above too. Taking into account the speed of the street on which we are walking as follows. First, if the road consists of two lanes, the speed is 60 km per hour. Second, if the road is composed of more than two lanes, the speed is 80 km per hour. Third, if the road is a highway, the speed is 90 and 100 km per hour. Fourth, if the road consists of two lanes round the trip, the speed is 40 km per hour, unless the examiner requests an increase in speed. Fifth, some roads have a specific speed with a sign on which the specific speed is written. Overtaking steps When the examiner asks us to bypass the car ahead, we do so as follows. Steps for overtaking to the left. First, give a signal to the left. Second, look at the internal mirror. Third, look at the left side mirror. Fourth, look above the left shoulder. Fifth, look at the internal mirror again. Sixth, we pass if it's safe to do so. Noting that the car doesn't move before the completing of all previous checks. Steps for overtaking to the right First, give a signal to the right Second, look at the internal mirror Third, look at the right side mirror Fourth, look above the right shoulder Fifth, look at the internal mirror again Sixth, we pass if it's safe to do so, noting that the car doesn't move before the completing of all previous checks. Steps for merging into a highway When we reach a highway, we will merge as follows. First, we give a signal to the left. Second, we increase the speed to 100 km per hour. Third, we look at the internal mirror. Fourth, we look at the left side mirror. Fifth, we look above the left shoulder. Sixth, we look at the internal mirror again. Seventh, we merge if it's safe to do so, noting that the vehicle doesn't move before the completing of all previous checks. Steps to exit the highway If the examiner requests exit from a highway, we do so as follows. First, we give a signal to the right. Second, we decrease the speed. Third, we look at the internal mirror. Fourth, we look at the right side mirror. A bicycle driver may be passed through the space between the car and the sidewalk. Fifth, we look above the right shoulder. Sixth, we look at the internal mirror again. 7. We exit if it's safe to do so, noting that the vehicle should not move before the completing of all previous checks. Important note, our movements must be clear to the examiner person, and this means, for example, the ability of the examiner to see us checking the required mirrors when performing an overtake and we must check the internal and side mirrors also throughout the exam period so that the examiner sees us we do this important note if the examiner requests the implementation of something and we are unable to execute it due to the lack of time for that we must respond to the examiner with the inability to execute due to the lack of sufficient time for implementation. 
just as the examiner may ask us to execute something in a way that we might find violate the traffic law and that's to check our information about the systems and the traffic light and here we must inform the examiner with the correct information and the inadmissibility of that 